Hi everybody, welcome to this next video. Um, if you've been following on in sequence, then in the last video we added our first pedigree. If you haven't done that yet, please go back and check out those videos. Um, as you can see, I've added a second pedigree in the meantime so that we've got some more information to use. In this video, we're going to show you how to join up your pedigrees and really start your pedigree tree. So this is what the dashboard looks like now. You can see that those uh, get started steps have disappeared and we now have a proper dashboard. Uh, you can change these graphs by the way and um, find fun ways to visualize your data. Um, over here you can see we've recently added uh, TB0001 and 2 and that we've recently added test owner and test breeder. So these, will, these cards will keep updating as your system evolves. So if we click on pedigrees now, we'll see that we have our two animals here, um, one and two. So this is Derek and Maggie. You can see their status, and we can see one's male and one's female. So if I go ahead and click add pedigree to add a third animal, I'm going to give them more or less the same information. I'm going to say that it's bred by test breeder, that it's owned by test owner. You'll notice the registration number has auto incremented so the system knows that you want this to be number three. I could change this at this point if I wanted to totally change the format here I could and then the very next pedigree that was added would just have this registration number plus one added to it as the suggestion. Again tag number can be anything you like. Name so let's call this one um, Test breeder child, um, and you'll see why. So date of registration, I'm going to choose uh, today. Date of birth, I will say less than a month ago, just for calculation's sake. I'm going to say that this is a female, that it's alive. Uh, letter size I'm ignoring. So finally, we're at the point where we can add a father or a sire. So if I start typing, um, you can actually type in the name or you can type in the reg number or the tag number and the system will search for that. If I start typing Derek, it will find me Derek. If I start typing TB0001, it will find me Derek. If I just click there, you can see it gives you a summary of the information just below. So I'm going to do the same with a mother. So I'm actually going to type in Maggie this time. There we go, test breeder Maggie. There we go, she's TB0002, test breeder Maggie tag number. So this is our, our sire and our dam or our mother and our father animal. You can add notes as well at this point but uh, it always feels to me like the, the notes are somewhat irrelevant uh, because each of these animals now that you've linked them has their own description. So let's give it a little description. My first offspring. Date of death we don't need hopefully. Um, and I'm going to ignore these fields at the bottom and click submit and save pedigree on the confirmation box. Now here we have our first animal that is linked up to its parents. So this is the profile for a pedigree animal. Every pedigree animal in your system has this. Over on the right hand side you can see some stats about the animal. Um, the breed of the owner, reg number, uh, date of birth, all this stuff, um, and some metrics down the bottom. So ignore these for the moment. Um, we'll cover metrics in another video. We have um, a missing image here because we haven't added any images yet for our uh, test breeder child animal. If we click on images you'll see there's a drag and drop box uh, that we could use to rectify that. Um, if you have a profile image or you have some images uploaded you'll see the image appear here and then you'll see an image gallery uh, at this point uh, with the ability to upload as well. If we click on offspring you'll see this pedigree has no offspring at the moment. And then if we click on certificate you'll see that the parents are listed here. So we have test breeder Derek as the father, test breeder Maggie as the mother. Um, and you'll notice that if you hover over these, you get this little pop-up with a link to that animal's profile. So if we click that, we go to test breeder Derek. Now Derek's certificate is not joined up. If you remember, he was from wild stock. We don't know his parents, so we can't add them in here. They're not in the system. But if we click on offspring, we can see that TB0003 is his offspring. Again, if we click there, we can go back to test breeder chart. There we go. You now have a linked up pedigree. Thank you very much.